Do you like shooting your AR, but the trigger is just not working out for you? Let me show you what I do to my ARs to make my range day more enjoyable. Hey everybody, this is Jason from the Rogue Banshee, and thank you for joining Team Banshee today as we talk about AR triggers. Now I'm going to use this trigger jig from Strike Industries to show you how an AR trigger works, because seeing how these triggers work will explain to you why I make the decisions that I do on my triggers. And what happens on these triggers is when you squeeze them, you can see how that slides down the hammer. And then eventually the hammer slips right off the trigger. That's how a trigger works on an AR. As a matter of fact, that's how sears work on just about every gun. Now back when I was in FFL and I used to do work on people's guns, I would see a lot of triggers, especially when they were low quality triggers, you would actually see the machining on the front of the trigger here and it would give you a really gritty pull. You would actually feel the machine lines in the trigger as you were pulling it and it really made a crappy trigger pull. Now you could do a trigger job and smooth this thing out, but you need to make sure that these angles are correct to make sure the trigger remains safe. Instead of putting time into a really cheap trigger to try to make it feel like an expensive trigger, I started using drop-in triggers to really smooth out my trigger pull. Now these are triggers from my friends over at Bowden Tactical. I actually pulled these out of my rifles because these are the ones I actually use. I've measured these in my rifle and I've dropped about one pound over the trigger pull. Now sure, you can use a reduced power spring kit like this one, but the problem is it's reduced power. All you're doing is reducing that power so it's easier to pull the trigger but you could end up with light primer strikes and failure to fires. And that's what's nice about drop-in triggers. They're actually engineered to do the job correctly while giving you the trigger pull that you really want. So we'll go back to the standard AR trigger here and let me show you how far you need to pull this trigger. I'm gonna show you that again. You see how you're pulling for a while. Let me reconfigure this jig with one of these drop-in triggers and show you the difference. So I have the old trigger out, so I'm gonna pop in one of these parametric triggers just to show you they install really easy using the existing pinholes that are in your receiver. Now as you can see, I just put these pins in. I just need to put my detent in for the safety and screw this grip in and my trigger is installed. And with everything confirmed working, you can see we're all ready to go. As you saw on that factory trigger, there was a long trigger pull. But with these, you can see I'm pulling, 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 but nothing's moving. There's almost no creep to these. Just when you put the appropriate amount of pressure on, the trigger just goes off. Now this is the flat trigger, and I tend to lean towards the flat trigger because, well, your grip might not be perfect. I mean, you can see my finger kind of goes down a little bit and that flat trigger just works for me. Very rarely is your finger perfectly square squeezing that trigger. Now these parametric triggers come in straight and curved. Now I tend to lean towards the straight than the curved, but this curved is still a lot better than your factory triggers. As you can see, there's a very significant curve to this Whereas it's a more gentle curve on this parametric trigger. And for me, that just gives me kind of the benefit of a flat trigger, but still having a curved trigger. It's still curved just enough, but not excessive. There's several things I like about these parametric triggers is number one, they're made in the US. Number two, they're easy to drop into your rifle. Number three is they're designed for a very specific purpose is giving you a great trigger pull. And what I like is they have these steel inserts. So instead of your trigger riding on the pin like in a standard trigger, your trigger actually rides on these steel inserts and these steel inserts ride on the pins. And that gives you a much more stable install of your trigger. The other thing you have is you have a couple of set screws right in the top here. So after you screw them down, this trigger does not wobble inside of your lower receiver. 
Everything fits really nice and tight and gives you a great trigger pull. So what do you think about drop-in triggers? Share you in the comments down below. Now I really love these triggers and with them being American made, it just sets that bar really high. Now I have some content for you right over there. Make sure you go check that out because I have so much more for you on ARs. Thanks for watching. Hope you're staying safe out there. Look forward to seeing you again soon.